Hey guys, how are you today? I'm back. I'm going to do a piece of uh, trout today with some uh, fresh picked asparagus that I got at the uh, Urban Ecology Center in Washington Park where I work. And I'm dedicating this video to the land stewards, Michaela, Martina, and Bailey. Because Michaela took me out and act we actually just freshly picked this asparagus. And do you know, I ate a piece right out the garden, that freshly grown asparagus, just picked. It's nothing like that stuff that you get out of the grocery store. It is not fibrous. You don't have to pick that bottom part off or any of that. It's sweet, it's tender, it's delicious. I'm not going to cook it for more than uh, a minute and a half to two minutes. That's it. Anything uh, longer than that, and I'll be destroying it. And I have a beautiful piece of trout that we're going to cook. So look at that beautiful skin. Isn't that gorgeous? And he's not going to cook long, but let's get them seasoned. I'm going to season them right on top. Let me show you. Of the paper that they I got, got at the grocery store. And I'm going to season it very simply. Don't you be able to see all that. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. There we are. Okay. I have a towel here. I'm going to use to keep my hands clean. We're going to start, of course, just a little of my salt that I make up with the kosher. And the uh, regular table salt, like I tell you, I use. And of course, okay, my hands again. And touch my keys. I'm gonna put, of course, some, some Denny Loom seasoning on there. Quite simple tonight. Just a little bit. I wanna taste that trout. You know what I'm saying? That's enough of that. It'll be good. <laughs> put that there. And of course, I got my lemon, excuse my back. Let me get a piece of lemon. Got some right here. Okay. Let's squeeze of that. It'll be delicious. It's gonna be very simple. There we go, a little lemon juice. That's about the size of it. We don't want the seeds. Of course not. But basically, that's all I want on my fish. Okay, so let's get ready to fry it up. Okay. So, I have some, I can't believe it's not butter. It tastes good. And it does a great job when it comes to cooking. So, we're gonna get us a little piece of that. And get it in our skillet. I have here on the stove. Not a lot, we don't need a lot of it. That should do us. Okay, and get our skillet. Nice and warm because I want that uh, skin to crisp up. Okay. Oh, let that get get good and hot. Just make sure you can see that. And then this skillet, we're going to do the asparagus. So you can see them both. Okay, we're going to do asparagus in here, and this, that's really not going to take a long time. So we're going to put a little uh, pad of, I can't believe it's not butter in here. That's about the size of, now I'm going to tell you something. I have discovered 
real asparagus. I'm not going to put anything but a little pat of, I can't believe it's not butter, some salt and pepper. And that's all I want on my asparagus. That's how delicious, delicious it is, picking it straight out the garden. I'm telling you, if you're a gardener, grow asparagus. There's nothing like that stuff in the grocery store. I'm amazed. Let me, uh, well, while that's getting hot, let's cut up our asparagus. Move our fish over. There we go. I'll put that up there. Where's Rose? You know, I'm also going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to our uh, asparagus. Okay, just a touch. I don't need that much. Because I love the taste of that as well. They turn me out. Squeeze a little lemon on the fish after it's done as well. Like that, move it over. I'm going to quick wash off my asparagus. on the skin side first. Put it in the skillet. That's we're ready with that. Okay. This is our fish skillet. All right. So we'll put it skin down in here. And so my stove doesn't get so flattered up, I'm going to put a Flatter screen on top. You just let that go at it. Okay. And this will not melt. I don't have a fire under it. <laughs> there we go. See? You, it'd be a big, greasy uh, mess if you don't cover it with splatter screen. All right. Now let's cut up our asparagus right quick. It's so easy and a very easy and quick dinner. Get rid of that paper. That's a beautiful piece of trout. I was lucky to find it. Okay. And dry up here. My heat down, so okay. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gonna take my asparagus, the shorty here, and cut it on the diagonal. It looks so pretty when it's cut on the diagonal. Same size. Do the same thing with him. Cut it on the diagonal. There we go. I'm going to eat every drop of it. Oh, this is a nice big Look at him. We'll throw him in there first. So we can first because the other one I smell so small. Mmm, it's gonna be so delicious. Can't wait. Mm. 
the left there. Okay. Grab a spoon so I can turn them on up and down and around. Saute our asparagus. There we go. Turn that way down. I don't want to do it wrong. It's so good. It was so good raw. I'm telling you, it is so good raw. I don't dare cook it a long time and lose all that delicious flavor. So, let it sit there just a couple minutes. That's the big fat one we had. Let him go while I check the fish. Turn it over. That is. I'll come up to it and show you. If you get rid of this now, it's just spitting and everything. You can see how beautiful that crust is on there. That's how I like my crust. Some people don't like the fish skin. I love the fish skin. I sure do. Let him go. Yeah, a little while. Yeah, not long though. I don't want to cook too long. Mm -hmm. Throw the rest of my asparagus in now. You see that beautiful purple one that was in there? That's gorgeous. It's the green. There we go. And I'm going to turn my fish off. Take it off there. And that's all the cooking I need for that. Gonna saute in my asparagus. You know, usually when I cook asparagus, I put uh, parmesan on it and sometimes even wrap it with bacon and all. There's no way I would put that on this asparagus. It's just too delicious. <laughs> Boy, have I learned something about asparagus today. Okay. Let's let it go a little bit. See, these are really thin. A little bit more. about the size of it. That's my meal. Huh? It's a short video, but I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. Now I'm going to add just a little salt and pepper to this. I'm going to make up more salt. Just a little salt. A little fresh ground black pepper. 
You know, that's all I like is the fresh ground one, too. And that's that. You turn that off as well. That's that. Starting with the fish, so you guys can see the whole meal. Fish out. Okay, flip this over. You see the fish. Little bit delicious asparagus. There they are. squeeze just a little lemon juice on there but basically that's about the size of it. I'm gonna put it over here on the table while I get some lemon. You guys can, can check it out. Okay. While I get lemon and we're gonna taste it. Of course we're gonna taste it. hard all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, in a way, I look forward to coming to see you guys though at the end of the day. There's a little lemon juice on top of that. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. This is my barbecue sauce pot. I got to start using two now, and I make my batch up now, I got to make double. Plus, they are, I love it at cherry barbecue sauce, I'm telling you. Okay. And let's dig in. Let's, let's see what we got here. Try the fish first. The spoon. So moist. Oh, and that uh, skin is almost like fish skin crackling. It's so good. It's gonna be so good. I love that when it gets crackling like that. Let's try it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. People think trout and salmon are almost alike. They're nothing alike. This is delicious. You got to try it. Quick, simple, delicious. Delicious. No, of course. Mm. Just throw that all in your mouth at once. That's asparagus. Mm -mm -mm. Look how tender it is. Let me show you. Look how tender that is. Just Pick it up, hit your fork like that, and bite it. Mm -hmm. 
especially crunch. And it's so tender. Mm -mm -mm. And crunchy. And delicious. And so fresh tasting. And it's sweet. Grow some asparagus. Mm. Or find a friend that does, or so, a neighbor, or someone. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Look how that fish just flakes. Look how it just flakes. And it didn't take us any time to do it either, did it? Hmm? And it's so delicious. You get a glass of white wine. I don't drink. But I will have a decent glass of, of coconut water or something like that. If I could stop eating. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. Well... I'm so happy that you guys joined me. Please keep watching. We'll be doing this again very soon. Wow, that's good. And I love you for watching. It's time to feed Hammy now. He'll be fussing soon. We don't want to hear that. So thank you once again. Bye-bye.